You know, sometimes you want to have a, a snack that's a little bit different than what you normally would take to a party or just have for, uh, for appetizers. Today, we are doing just that. And it is so fast and easy that it takes longer to talk about it than it does to do it. We are making my recipe for Greek feta dip. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. If this is your first time tuning in, let us know you're out there by giving us a big thumbs up below and then hit that subscribe button to make sure you never miss a video. Now, let's start cooking. Well, of course, the most important ingredient for this Greek feta dip is the feta cheese. And I'm telling you what, just do yourself a favor, get the best feta cheese that you can find. There is a difference in, in, in feta. So this particular one we're using today is actually made from a combination of sheep's milk and goat's uh, milk. So it is just a wonderful salty cheese and um, it just, just makes, a, makes a big difference which one you get. So that's our main ingredient, of course, is our feta cheese. We've got a little bit of garlic and in this case, I've got two cloves of, of garlic, and these were fairly large cloves, and I've just chopped them roughly. And you might start with one or one and a half, you know, just depending on your garlic appreciation level, uh, as, uh, that determines how much garlic you wanna use. But then the other two really in, important ingredients to this, we're all really three, are uh, we've got some, about a handful of cilantro leaves, fresh cilantro leaves, and a handful of fresh mint leaves, as well as I've got one jalapeno that's chopped up. And you can use a serrano uh, or one jalapeno, a couple of jalapenos, depending of course on your heat tolerance. And then we've also got some red uh, chili pepper flakes. We'll just use a, about a half teaspoon of those. And then a little bit of lime juice to finish it off. And then the other ingredient is some extra virgin olive oil. You want to make sure you use extra virgin olive oil. You don't have to use the top shelf stuff that you would put in the salad, but the, the best olive oil that you would cook with is what you want to use. So those are our ingredients. Let's start cooking. To make our dip, what we're going to do is we're just going to put everything in the food processor. And yes, you can do this with a blender if you don't have a food processor, but it's, it's really handy to have the food processor because um, you can, first of all, you can, you can drizzle your oil in and you can see the level of, of consistency that you're getting. So we're just going to first put all of our ingredients in the food processor. Just like that. And by the way, make sure you drain your uh, feta cheese when you first get it. It usually comes packed with um, a, fair, a fair amount of water. I'm just going to put half the garlic and then we'll be able to, to taste it and see where we are. We're gonna go ahead and put all of the uh, cilantro and all of the mint leaves in there. And we'll put half of the jalapenos and a couple of the red chili flakes and we'll add the lime juice at the end we'll do that uh, af after we get things crushed up so we'll just put our lid back on and so what we're going to do is just pulse to get things going first And then once everything kind of gets, gets broken up, we'll turn it on and we'll start drizzling our oil. We're doing that again, because I had the cap on. <laughs> so. So where was I? <laughs> so we'll just drizzle the oil in as it mixes. I'm gonna go a little bit higher speed. There we go. 
And we're just going to let it mix a little bit longer, and then we'll check for the consistency. Okay, and be sure and wipe your sides down in your processor. Oh, wow. The aroma is incredible. It is just smells fantastic. So this consistency is getting close to what we want. It can still be a little bit looser and I still have a, a, a few larger chunks in here that I'm just, I wanna get out. So let's go ahead and blend a little bit more. Okay, that is fantastic. Oh, look at that. Look at that consistency. Nice. That's what we're going for. Just a nice, nice dip consistency. All right, let's give it a taste and see where we are. Mmm. It's wonderful. It's creamy. It's smooth. It's got plenty of garlic, but I think it needs a little bit more pepper. Because uh, it has no heat. It really should have a little bit of bite to it. So we'll put some more of our peppers in there. And again, you know, just, just depending on your, on the pepper you have, I'm going to just put the whole thing in there. Depending on the pepper you have, um, that will determine how much of that you, you put in. And uh, then I'm just going to balance it out with a little bit of, a little squeeze of lime juice. And I think that'll be all we need. By the way, you notice I haven't added any salt to this. You don't need to add any salt. Generally, um, uh, goat's or feta cheese has a, a, a nice level of saltiness to it, and it doesn't require any extra salt. So now let's blend it. That is absolutely perfect. It is done. It's ready to go. Let's serve it up. All right, we've got our feta dip all served up here. And today we are serving this with some roasted pita chips. And if you'll take a look at the video right up above, you'll see how I did the, the pita chips in the oven, but just very simple for, for a dip. You could also use, you know, if you had someone who is gluten intolerant, you could use some gluten-free tortillas flour tortillas and just toast those as well. You know it's great for just dipping vegetables into. So it's very healthy, but you can see how just incredibly fast and easy it is to make. Let's give it a try. It is absolutely surprisingly delicious. I mean, the salt from the feta plays with the, the mint and the uh, cilantro and a little bit of the, the zest from the lime or the tartness from the lime. It's just very, very um, full of, it's full of umami. It's uh, just got some great flavor, you know, a hint of garlic in there, a little bit of hint of spice. I think you'll like this recipe. If you like the video, please hit that like button down below, give us a thumbs up, and uh, feel free to subscribe. It's absolutely free, and if you ring the bell, you'll get notified every time we release a new video. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you next time.